my grandma invested in gold, well, great grandma. She uh, put part of her paycheck into buying gold bullion. Really? Yeah. Did that work out for her? Oh, yeah. It was in the 60s, and everybody said she was crazy, but in the 90s when she retired, she had something like two, three dollars $300,000 in gold. Wow. Did she, is... like, did she bury it on an island somewhere? I think she buried it in our lake, or, like, tied it up and put it in the lake or something. Well, that's sort of nautical, so... I guess. It's, she had to make do. All right, now we've got our rat entrails. There's a bit of exploring over in this area that we, I didn't do earlier, so let's head by. How many walls of light are there? Because I can't imagine placing them together. Well, there's two. At, there's there's two at least in this. There's two in this section I'm in now. I see. Okay, this, this is basically just a quick note that the, they want the men to stop their game of, of, like, luring rats into the Wall of Light to watch them explode. Basically. <laughs> Gotta pass the job sometime. Some way. I fucked that up. I was sort of disappointed when I tried that in... It didn't explode cataclysmically. But yeah, as you can see, t pulling the tank out like that makes it lose power and shut down. Hmm. Now there's actually a whole alternate way to get by this wall of light. Which is if you go around and then go down, you can go through this like alleyway underneath this area. And then emerge on the other side. Downside to that is there's a whole bunch of weepers down there. Weepers being what they call people with like late-term plague infection because they bleed from their eyes. And because the because the the plague attacks the brain, they're basically completely nuts and will attack you on sight. And they're they're, they're hard to kill and they're dangerous. So not zombies. Yeah, they're they're the much as Tivia is not Russia, weepers are not zombies. Interesting. Now, I left a uh, spring wire trap over there, hoping that he might go into it, but in vain. Yeah, he didn't replace the canister. He's awfully dismissive of it. Well, he's, not, he's probably not getting paid that well. <laughs> I, I, I gotta make some horrible Arnold Schwarzenegger pun about severance after that. Sadly, there aren't enough rats left to get a good frenzy going. Now, nice thing about the spring razors is, is when you put it down, if it doesn't go, if it hasn't gone off yet, you can pick it back up. So it doesn't go to waste, which is nice. All right. Over in that distance is Holger Square, which is which will take us um, to the ab you know the head abbey where High Overseer Campbell awaits us. But he won't be going there quite yet. Another guy. <laughs> Such language. This is another useful thing about the blink power. It can, if you want to sneak up on a guy, you can like rapidly close the distance between him, faster than you could on foot. And unlike running, it doesn't make noise. Hey, more rats. Excellent. Now, oh. now 
the Dunwall Whiskey Distillery, where the Bottle Street Boys have their hangout. Hideout. Yeah, the hangout. Yeah, the, the Google Hangout of the Bottle Street Boys is our next destination, Nick. <laughs> so N they have the same technical problems we do. It, yeah. It's a hangout on air, so we'll be killing people on, li on a live YouTube stream. But then the microphones will cut out automatically because of some annoying feature, and... Corey will somehow clone himself again. <laughs> I don't think that was Google Hangouts' fault. I think that's just the endless procession of exotic audio problems he suffers from. And people watching this may well have no idea who that is, but... Well, if we're going to plug this on the podcast, I have to imagine they know who Corey is. That's true. I hope. Or we can plug the podcast. Well, let's let's leave it all mysterious. Let's leave it all mysterious, you know? It'll be Okay. It'll, it'll be a thrilling cliffhanger. Who is this guy Corey they're talking about and why does his computer suck so much? What? Oh, some Oh, a rune. Confiscated rune. Oh, a note. Found the strange rune on the woman who used to sell pastries, superstitious Basically, they, conf they confiscate stuff like this, because it's like it's her it's like heretical to use, you know, these magical things. But you know, people, you know, some people keep them anyway. So they took it, and now it's mine. I have expropriated the expropriators of their runes. One upgrade you can actually get later is these, like, stealth boots that you do not make noise uh, when you're moving. Okay, here's that, here's that alley I was telling you about. See way down there? Notice there's a shitload of rats down there. Yeah, I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to go there. And, like I said, there's the weepers who are pretty dangerous. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Please clear the area. Like, in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation, a weeper is probably more dangerous than, like, an average guard. Because they will, like, grab hold of you and, like, spray plague fluids in your face. And you, you don't want that. No. You don't want a rat plague money shot. I am so... Okay, I should... I am so sorry. I Even as it came from my mouth... I knew I'd gone too far. Oh well. All right, let's go. Let's go visit Griff. And so you can buy stuff from him, right? Yes. He sells you supplies. Oh, let's hear. Let's hear what the heart has to say. That's actually a, this is actually a stage one I missed. Stop moving, you, 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 you old man. You are one creepy chick. But yeah, he sells you like ammunition and potions. But they cost more than buying them back at headquarters, I believe. But more importantly, he sells you. He can sell you blueprints that inc that create new things that uh, Piero can build for you back at base. Yeah, excellent. And I bought the. Uh, now Piero can sell me Sokolov formulas, and he can give me the second level of the uh, mask optics ability, which gives you an extra let, lets you zoom an, uh, even further. Which is really handy, especially if you want to be you know picking guys off with a crossbow or what have you. And also, it by some unknown means, it also amplifies your hearing. Is, is someone yeah. playing with a squeaky toy over there, Nick? Yes. Yes, they're playing with the dog. I j just in case people were wondering if there's some sort of dog d dog toy ability in Dishonored, the answer is no, there is not. All right, disarmed that incendiary bolt launcher. When I've got a bottle of. I don't, I, don't, I don't believe I use it here, but yeah, you can throw those bottles and they'll explode, set people on fire. 
Okay, now they're talking about someone we've encountered before. Dowd. Oh, the outsider. Them weepers and wild hounds. That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. So this guy Dowd, he's a paid killer with dark powers who can attack from across the room. Now those of you who remember the circumstances on which we lost our previous job may suspect that sounds familiar. Here <laughs> now Another display of my drop attack mastery. Nice. Oh, there he goes. Somewhat less masterful is the fact that every time you load a new game in this area, that warning about, you know, hostile area appears again. Mm. So you can you can track how many times I've been killed and had to reload by whenever that appears. That's a death. My Like I said, I don't want anyone to get the impression that I'm better than I am here, because I'm not that good. Because you totally could, though. You just cut right after. I'm really not that competent an editor, to be honest. <laughs> but, anyway, the meanwhile, the Elixir Black Market. We spree we've seen widespread looting since the month of clans. It wasn't prevalent at first, but it's a pattern now. There's an outbreak in one of the districts, and the watch moves in. We quarantine buildings, put down weepers, and, depart and deport anyone showing early signs. Afterward, the dead counters come through and the lawyers write up the paperwork to transfer ownership of businesses and homes at Parliament's discretion. That's kind, that's kind of a, a thing to note, that like there's a lot of property being confiscated and seized as a result of this plague. And, you know, you can... Soon after, like clockwork, the gang begins tearing the place apart. The gangs begin tearing the place apart. There's a fairly robust black market now, because everyone wants elixir and most can't afford it. Even Sokolov's brand won't help you if you've already got the plague, but getting a regular dose is your best chance if you want to avoid contracting it. Some of the gangs have taken to buying small amounts and watering it down before selling it, and I have to admit, if I didn't have an officer's ration, I'd be buying from them. So, remember, that's... We're here to poison their bootleg elixir still. And... Which, you know, at, at the behest of Granny Rags, which means... Like I said, this, this one mission, it's sort of... Most of the other bad stuff you can do in this game, it's like, you know, killing more people than you need to to get a job done. Where in this, this is just, like, mass murder so that Granny will give you a present, basically. This, 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 this is, this, this, with this mission is where I cross the line into, you know, cartoon super villainy. Could be worse. I suppose. Bookmobile. Bookmobile. Wait, are we talk are we talking about that VR Troopers episode? Yes. No 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 one's gonna have any idea what we're talking about, Nick. Unless they unless they too watch horrible Sentai shows. Which I don't know, maybe that I guess was it Whoop. Okay. Nice. That guy whispering away whistling away. Medical herbs. Now, you got to be careful when you pick up and then drop bodies, because it will make some sound. <coughs> oh! Oh, and he falls right through the Spanish announcer's table. By God, Nick. I swear by God, he's broken in half. Well, his trachea is, at any rate. Distillery's not far off now. Like again, you get useful for closing distances rapidly. If you're worried that he might turn around soon. Mm. You can, you know, make it quickly and you won't get caught to avoid getting caught in the open. And once you upgrade the, the blink power, you know, it gets even more helpful for that. And again, there's there's a, there's a number of different routes you can take. 
there, there's choices beyond just lethal or non-lethal. There's, you know, you can go in straight along there. You can take to the rooftops. You can, you can, cl you can zip, cl climb across those tower silos and towers. See that pipe going along? Well, that pipe going along the wall there. You can climb across that. And, you, and I also, I just died there, as you can see. Don't don't figure behind the curtain. I, 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 oh, that's right. This is this is my this is my uh my yes, this is my Iron Man mode playthrough of Dishonored. Ignore what I just said. Flawless run of Dishonored. Yes. I wonder what a game of Nancy is. It's a chicken, maybe. So it's, it's a really it's 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 a really boring HBO series. A game of Nancy. The fuck are you looking at? <laughs> oh. Hey, more rats. 